Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today, we're going to be talking about the top three cybersecurity career mistakes that I've seen and also how to avoid them, right? In this uncertain 2024 tech job market, you know, avoiding the mistakes is something that you definitely want to do if you're looking to get in and stay in cybersecurity. So hopefully this video will be valuable to you because it would help you to better, I guess, massage what you want your career to look like in this field. So I'm not going to belabor you anymore, but let's jump right into it and let's get to mistake number one. The first big mistake that I see beginners making is to eat the entire elephant at once. Right. They want to eat the entire elephant at once. That's that's the saying. But really trying to learn everything at one time as soon as they're jumping into the field. Right. There's so many different concepts or so many different ideas under the concept or the umbrella of cybersecurity that includes things like penetration testing, mobile app development and secure code writing, incident response, right? Secure networking, so many different concepts. But the thing about it is that you can't learn it all at once. You can't be a pen tester, an incident responder and a reverse engineer all at once. You got to choose one, start there and then enlarge, right? As an example here, you might want to start off in network security. You might want to learn concepts like the OSI model, IP addresses and what their use is, subnetting, firewalls. You might want to learn common network protocols that are secure or insecure or even building secure network architecture you know get really good at some of those foundational concepts and then branch out focus on one topic build a strong foundation and then go from there one do not eat the whole elephant at once take one bite at a time choose one concept learn that and then grow from there Let's go to the next one. Now, speaking of taking the right steps in your cybersecurity career journey, I want to tell you about Springboard and how they can help you avoid the biggest mistakes for beginners, right? One of the toughest challenges is navigating those topics of cybersecurity careers and concepts and ideas all by yourself. When you're a beginner, you don't know too much. So focus on what's relevant to your career is exactly what you want. But with Springboard's bootcamp, cybersecurity bootcamp, you don't have to do it all alone. They provide career mentors, coaching that can guide you through each step of your career, each step of your learning, so you can stay focused on what really matters. And that's really getting into the cybersecurity industry. Springboard has a proven track record of helping their students successfully matriculate into the cybersecurity industry. Their tailored mentorship helps you to avoid those costly mistakes that we're talking about today, like wasting time on acquiring unnecessary skills and really aligning you to what the employers want. They have partnerships with many Fortune 500 and tech organizations all around the world. So if you're serious about breaking into cybersecurity, Springboard can be a game changer for you. So if you want more information, check out the link, my unique link there in my description section for understanding the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamps and how you can sign up even today. So if you're really ready to pull the trigger, you can jump into the cybersecurity field today with Springboard. Let's move on to the next mistake. All right, back to it. Let's jump into mistake number two that I've seen. Not aligning your learning and your labbing to what actual job roles are requiring. I see this all the time. People get so caught up in the theory and the idea and the excitement of learning cybersecurity that they miss out on what is actually important. Acquiring skills, acquiring capabilities for organizations that are looking for people today. You don't want to learn skills that organizations don't want, right? That's you wasting time, wasting energy and really making the mistake. So the tip here is to instead of randomly choosing cybersecurity projects and training, Look at job postings, right? Do a little exercise here. Look at job postings on common websites like Indeed and LinkedIn. Pull out the requirements and focus your learning and labbing on work specific to those tasks, specific to those job roles that you've pulled out. For example, if you're looking to work in cybersecurity operations or as a security operations center um, um, analyst of some sort, you can build labs exact to what you have seen within those job descriptions. You can look at the specific tools. You can look at the capabilities of analyzing emails or analyzing phishing attacks or looking at a cold executables and PE files, right? You can really drill down into the specifics by specifically looking at Indeed and LinkedIn postings. Trust me, most employers are not looking for you to code a port scanner from default or from, from scratch or reverse engineering mobile applications. Look at those job roles and really reverse engineer your learning and your labbing. 
And last up, we have certifications. Very common conversation within cybersecurity. So let's talk about certifications and I'm not gonna be uh, long with you here. There's a myth in cybersecurity that the more certifications you have, the more competent you are to perform cybersecurity job roles, right? This is not true. It's not true, but I've seen many people doing this, right? I've seen people with over 20 plus cybersecurity certifications or networking or industry certifications, but no real practical skills. Certifications do not automatically equate to competency. My advice, certified strategically, certify smart. Focus on getting certifications that actually complement each other over just getting certifications for the quantity of them. Certifications are expensive to acquire. They're expensive to maintain. You have to get all these CPE credits to maintain these certifications and that all comes at a cost. So be strategic with your certification acquisitions. If you're getting security plus, you might wanna complement that with a network plus. Networking and cybersecurity go hand in hand. Or if you're looking at going more of the SANS route, you might get a GCIH, right? GAC Certified Incident Handler. And you might follow that up with a GPIN, right? The pen testing cybersecurity certification that SANS offers. Those complement each other rather than getting this vendor certification, that vendor certification, and this thing on this website, right? Certify strategically and quality is much better to, than the quantity of cybersecurity certifications in the field. So please avoid that mistake. So to recap, avoid trying to learn everything at once, making sure that your learning is aligned to real jobs out there. And don't think that many certifications equate to competency in cybersecurity. Those are the three biggest mistakes that I've seen in 2024. These are common mistakes that beginners make and avoiding them would help to save you time, money and frustration. And don't forget, if you're looking for some type of guided mentorship, Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp is a fantastic resource to help you stay focused on your goals and land that cybersecurity role that you're looking for, even within this tumultuous tech job market. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and come back for more and more of the Struggle Security YouTube channel where I'm covering topics like this and more. Um, so feel free to subscribe and see you next time where this is struggle security. Where we're normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Thanks.